Are you struggling to cut long pieces of timber on your table saw? Then keep watching because this video is for you. So if you're like me and you've just splashed out on a new table saw, you're probably very excited to start building. One of the most popular cuts to make on a table saw is a cross cut. This DeWalt table saw does come with a mitre gauge. However, these generally aren't great. Some of the main problems are that it's hard to be accurate with long pieces of timber. Also, the angle slider isn't very accurate, so getting the cut at exactly 90 degrees isn't guaranteed. Now, fortunately for you, the cross sled that I'll be showing you how to build today addresses all of the limitations of a mitre gauge. With this cross sled, you'll be able to make perfect 90 degree cuts every time. It has two runners to ensure that there's zero movement, with a zero clearance cut board, it ensures no smaller cuts will fall away into the blade. You can also attach a stop block to the end, all whilst being super compact, so it's really easy to store away when you're not using it. Start this build by cutting down the base of your sled using your plywood sheet. I opted for 14 by 28 inches, but you can have this whatever size that you like. Next up are the runners. These will ensure your sled doesn't move when in use. The size of these will vary depending on your table saw, so make sure to measure what you need. Iron were 18 mil, you can use plywood for this, however I opted for this piece of oak because I had it and it was the right size. I cut mine down to width first and then cut them to half the height of the runner track to avoid them catching on the table base. To attach the runners, use bolts, coins or whatever else you have lying around that allows the runners to sit proud off the table base. Add a small amount of wood glue here, rest the base on top and then press firmly down. Wait for the glue to bond, then flip over the base and pre-drill some holes and then fix with some screws. Make sure the screws aren't too long so that they do not penetrate the base of the sled. I left the runner slightly longer than the actual base of the board so I just needed to cut them down slightly with a handsaw which presented the opportunity for me to run a clean edge along the table saw and clean up that edge of the plywood whilst I was there. To create the fences you'll need the rest of your plywood board. The thickness of the plywood isn't quite strong enough for the front and back fence. You can easily remedy this by gluing together two pieces of plywood. This obviously doubles the thickness and really adds to the quality, feel and strength of this build. The plywood I'm using had some sort of coating on it, so I made sure to sand that off before gluing to ensure that there was a solid bond between the two pieces. You should be able to clamp together both fences to speed up this stage. A totally optional step here is to curve off the edges of the fence with a router. This doesn't actually affect the functionality of the fence at all. It will just feel nicer to the touch and I personally think it looks nice. But if you don't have a router, don't worry about this. To attach the back fence, you're going to need to make your first cut into the baseboard. Make a cut just over halfway. The back fence is purely for strength, so you can eyeball this in line with the back of your board, clamp it, flip it over and drill in some screws to hold it in place. The accuracy of the front fence is a lot more important. You need to ensure that the fence is connected at a perfect 90 degree to the blade of your table saw. Do this using a set square and then attach it in the same way as you did the front fence. Technically, the cross sled is done and functioning. However, whilst you're in the building mood, I highly recommend creating this front guard as a reminder of the danger zone when cutting. You can create this with two pieces of glued together plywood and cutting it down to about four by four inches. I used a router to curve the edges, but you don't have to. And then I attached this with some screws. Then I moved on to creating these blade guards, which are an extra precaution. If you ever slipped towards the blade, they will prevent you from getting into trouble. Just go ahead and cut down some of your remaining plywood to one inch thick strips and attach them to the top of either side of the fence, leaving roughly a two inch gap in between them so you can see the blade when you're using it. And there you have it, one cross sled for your table saw. Now you can start making perfect 90 degree cross cuts every time. If you made it this far, please smash the like button, consider subscribing and check out this quick and easy scrap wood build next.